Guys, uh, this is part two of a Craigslist deal that I got uh, that I paid $150 for, and um, this is the PlayStation 2 box. Um, this I haven't even looked through, so similar to the PlayStation 1 box, uh, I'm not really sure what is in here. Um, just kind of looking looking at it from this perspective, it looks like another good portion of it is imported games um, but a few of them are games that I could add to my collection most of these are decent but I don't think it's as quite as impressive as uh, the PlayStation 1 box here we go um, Lord of the Rings the third age for the PlayStation 2 everything's in there that's cool But this is Xeno Saga. Uh, without a manual. It's got stickers all over it. Xeno Saga 2, episode 2. It feels complete. Yeah. Cool. Whew. Kind of stick it with the, the pattern here. Xeno Saga 3, part 3, episode 3. Looks like it. This feels like it has never even played. It's cool. I don't have this one. Final Fantasy 12. And everything's in there. Alright. Don't have this. I've seen this before though. Harvest Moon, Save the Homeland. Everything's in there. Alright, let's get to some of these imported games. This is Tech and Tag Tournament. Um, pretty unique. At least the cover art's better than just having a plain white cover art. This is Final Fantasy X imported. Jeez. Ridge Racer 5, it's imported. That's interesting. This is the imported version of Xenosaga. Somebody likes Xenosaga. This is episode 1. Land front cover. Um, don't have this, but this is this looks cool. I'm not sure how good this is. I, I'm sure it's probably difficult. It's Contra game, Contra Shattered Soldier for the PlayStation 2. Sorry about that. Everything is in there, and the game was in the PlayStation 2 box. This is Crime, uh, the Time Crisis 3. The box. I don't know. Whole freaking box here. Um, if you've ever played this before, let me know what you think of this. I'm not too wild into gun shooter games. Um, this is a really nice shape. It's an Atlas game. Um, again, I'm not a huge RPG person, but I, I mean, obviously, I, I know this is Atlas, and this is um, a really nice. Published game. It says 50 plus hour RPG, Magna Carta, Tears of Blood. Interesting. Um, I don't know why this is in the mix, but <laughs> Finding Nemo. Time Crisis 2. This is definitely an RPG. This is a North American release. Uh, Wise. Yeez, I forget how you how they say that. Yeah, wise, the Ark of Nap Napishtim. Yeah, this doesn't seem. I don't know. Three swords, one here, legendary adventure. This is an action RPG. I'd like. This is kind of neat. This has got the weirdest 
cover art I think I've ever seen. Wild Arms 3, and it's a picture of a desert. Uh -huh. That's important. I'm already on this. Boulder's Gate, Dark Alliance, Greatest Hits. So, I don't need that. Pronounce that series. It's a Mobile, mobile Suit Gundam, I think is what it is. Um, I remember the cartoons vaguely. Uh, this is cool. I'm keeping this one. Biohazard Code Veronica uh, by Capcom. That's cool. Interesting. Interesting. There, for those of you that want to look at the back. It's got the Devil May Cry demo and the disc. Interesting. This is a game I just picked up not long ago. Maximo goes to glory, greatest hits. So I think I have the black label version of it, so I won't need that. Final Fantasy X, which I don't have Final Fantasy X, but I don't know. Final Fantasy X II, don't have that, and yeah. Probably keep that one. This is weird. Dance Factory, Dance to Any Music CD. Hmm. Let's go ahead. Interesting taste in games. Anything from Resident Evil to dance games. There we go. The Bouncer. Not the American version. I'm thinking that's Dynasty Warriors. Dynasty Warriors 2, maybe? I don't know. Gun Game. Vampire Knight. Gun Con 2 compatible. So that would be the thing I just got. Um, hmm. Neat. Version of Tomb Raider Chronicles. This is not for resale. I don't ever play that. Oval Suit Gundam game, I see it in there a little bit. I don't know. It's hard to, it's hard to tell. Um, this is a survival horror game, and this is one I don't have. It's cool to add. It's uh, Siren. Okay, and this is the North American version. So that one will definitely be a welcome addition. I don't know if this is kind of like a Mario Party knockoff. Pac-Man Fever. It's got different Namco characters in it. Um, I forget which fighting game that is. But that's neat. This is an RPG, but I don't know what it is. Uh, something 7 by Namco. I don't know. is a racing game <laughs> that looks crazy um, doesn't have any English on there at all wow I wish that was an American version that's kind of a neat box art it's Street Fighter X3 by Capcom that's cool I just like Capcom I might just keep this I don't know this is cool. Um, I don't have this for the PlayStation 2. I do have it for the Xbox. Probably will keep it for the Xbox and be wanting to get rid of this uh, to get my money back. Get some of my money back. Boulder's Gate Dark Alliance 2 for the PlayStation 2. And it is complete. It's the black label. Very nice. It's a dot hack infection. Um, black label, pretty cool. This is good 
Guitar Freaks, third mix. Drum Mania, second mix. This is cool. This is probably like um, next to some of those PlayStation 1 games. This is probably the one that I'm most excited to see is uh, Clock Tower 3, PlayStation 2. Very nice. Awesome condition. Uh, I almost bought this one time with uh, like a lame GameStop case. It doesn't have it didn't have the front cover, but. It's, it's good to get this. This is a cool. This looks like it'd be a fun game to play. All right. All right. Like I said briefly, I don't think all of them are in here, but this is another dot hack game. Mutation. Um, I think there are four of them. I know that there's one. This is Mutation Part Two. I know that there's one of them. This, uh, I probably could keep this. I don't need the English to understand this. It's Klonoa 2. Man, I wish I had. I wish I would have had that on the PlayStation 1. The, the first Klonoa. Um, really cool. Probably keep that one. It's, it's from Konami. Almost looks like Goemon. Mm, I have no idea. Japanese version of Dark Cloud. That's kind of cool. Um, very neat. Eternal Ring. That's imported. Alright, this is Onimusha. Yeah, Onimusha. Japanese version. This is still sealed. Probably doesn't go for very much, but Jack and Dax are still sealed. Drum Mania. Mega stage import. This looks like one of the dating sims, I bet. Yeah. Something too. Yeah, I bet you that's what that is. They're obsessed with those. This looks like an RPG from software. Evergrace. That is. Ah, uh, this is cool. This is this is a shooter. I was looking. I've been looking for this. But this is the Japanese version. Gradius three and four, Japanese version. That's pretty neat. Probably wouldn't be too much. To read on that. This is cool. I never even heard of this. This must have been like an alternate version or something. This is. Let me see. If, make sure you can read it. Um, Gun Survivor 2 Biohazard Code Veronica. That's pretty cool. There it is. It's a pretty neat gun. There's the back. Now on the PlayStation 2. Silent Hill 2. Imported. And there's a, there's a decent amount of English on the back, so I'll, I'm not sure. I definitely will probably keep that. That's cool. Another Noble Suit Gundam. This is uh, imported as well. Lastly, everything's complete in that. This is probably nicer than mine. Dark Cloud, Grace Hits. 
which we'll talk about too, but yeah, I mean, that's the PlayStation 2 games I got. Um, there's three stacks there one, two, three, and this big thing the um, Gun Con Time Crisis 3, which I don't know if the game's in there, but it might be another box. There's still a third box. Let me know what you think. Um, again, between the first video and this one, and then there's a box that I have yet to really show that has two PlayStation 2 systems and I don't even know what else is in there. Three boxes for 150 bucks. Uh, let me know what you think. I'll talk to you guys later. Hit the kitty!